When you can't control what's happening to you, control how you respond to it. That's where your power is. Bravery is not the absence of fear. Bravery is feeling fear and moving forward anyway. Dreams without goals are just dreams. You cannot win the war against the world if you can't win the war against your own mind. It's chest day, chest and triceps, getting it in. Cut out all that other stuff. I don't even know what you're gonna use for the intro now. <laughs> oh my God. You know, something I don't start with very often. Hardly ever start with this, ever. We have a dip bar, but the holes don't work. So this is gonna be my little dip machine. It's a vertical leg press. You use it for legs, but I also use it for chest and triceps. The DLB Daily, we're doing three sets of 12 here. Um, since it's chest day, I know we're using triceps, but we're gonna start off. You can do dips for chest focus and triceps focus. It's all gonna be kind of based on your angle of your body. So for me, when I want to use more of my chest, I'm gonna lean forward a little bit. And also your elbow placement. So for chest, your elbows can be like 30 to 60 degrees out. If you wanna focus more on triceps, you're gonna to try to keep them kind of more tucked. I'm gonna do more chest emphasis, three sets of 12, here we go. to a compound yet I'm feeling really good those dips like I need to start with that more often noted next up we have a little super set we're going to go from cable flies to a Charles glass push-up that's right I call it the Charles glass push-up because I got it from him so we're doing decline high to low cable pulls making sure that you get your pinkies together so instead of bringing your knuckles together, you're gonna get a little better squeeze by twisting and bringing your palms up. 12, 10, eight, eight. And then our push-ups, you're gonna find a wall and then all you're gonna do is lift your knees up off the ground and we're already in position. And then you're coming down and then up. The purpose of this it creates a little bit more uh, emphasis on the chest because you're kind of like leaning forward, takes your arms and shoulders out of it a little bit. And I feel this way deeper in my chest by just elevating those knees and you're sort of on like a little bit of an angle. If you can't do that many, maybe try a couple and then you can go right into regular push-ups or even modify push-ups on your knees just to get I put failure for this because I can get a bunch, but goal would be getting like 10 to 12 of these. getting to some compound movements here I'm liking the way I feel right now always good to switch up your workouts a little bit so you're not always starting with the same exact thing you know switch it up and you'll feel good so we're gonna get to some incline press we're gonna start at 10 reps then 8 reps and then 6 reps and then 6 reps again but I want you to try to 
get heavier for that second six reps. So try to go up in weight every single time. I'm also gonna add a drop set to the last uh, set of that too. So you're gonna do six reps, drop the weight, and then go to failure. We're also going to superset this little compound set with some uh, alternating underhand front raise. So it's kind of like a, like a fly. Same thing that we've been kind of talking about with the, the cable flies. So your palm's gonna face up and I'm gonna come across my body a little bit. So instead of staying straight, I want you coming basically to that opposite shoulder. So cross body, underhand front raise, alternating. You can do them, well, you can't alternate. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna alternate. It's 10 reps on each arm. So 20 reps total, 10 on each arm. Dream big, cause boy, you're gonna make it. Stand tall, there's a higher road to take it. In the darkness for 40 days I've been Searching for holy flames A sign to light up the way So can you help me out? Can you help me out? Okay, I know I didn't mention this at the beginning, but we're gonna throw a couple shoulders in there. I don't know why I didn't say it at the beginning, but now you know, it's like a push day. So next up, we are on the bench, but we're doing one and a half rep bench press, six reps, four sets of six. So obviously it's not actually six reps because you're getting little half reps in there. So more time under tension, uh, so you're coming all the way down to your chest. You're going to go up halfway, back down, touch your chest, and then all the way up. That's one rep. And we have six of those. So just longer amounts of time where you're contracting your muscles, especially those little like half reps, the pulsing reps. That's what brings more blood to that actual muscle. Where then because my name is Daniel Bailey and I love shoulders. We're just gonna grab some dumbbells. So grab a pair of dumbbells, nothing crazy heavy. And we're just gonna do seated lower raises with dumbbells. You could use plates if you want. I'm just, uh, I just grabbed a set of dumbbells, 10 to 12 reps, super strict, straight out to the side. So I always have a slight, so I know I say straight out to the sides, but you always have them slightly angled a little bit forward, pinkies a little bit up, thumbs pointed down, and you can get a little bit better contraction on that. So instead of coming straight out to the sides, you're kind of making like a Y with your arms. Seated, which takes your legs and your lower back out of it, so a little bit lighter weights for these. So four sets, six reps, one and a half reps, and then 10 to 12 loud raise. Here we go. I think I can feel you say dream big Cause boy you're gonna make it Stay tall is a high road you're taking Let go of everything that you know And be wild in the mystery Next little superset here, back to the cables. We're doing some low to high incline cable flies. So set your pulleys all the way at the bottom. And again, I keep my hands in an underhand position at the top, pinkies together, underhand, palms facing up, get a better flex out of the, that upper chest. Aiming for about 10 to, 10 to 12 reps for your uh, low to high fly. And then we're gonna go step back. So you'll be kind of out here for your fly because you want your arms kind of extended behind you, pulls on your shoulders a little bit more. Then we're gonna take a step back and then go into a cable shoulder press. You don't even have to change positions. 
you're just going straight into it. I'm gonna write 10 to 12, but I'm kinda, if I can do more, I'm gonna kinda do more. So go to failure, aim for that 10 to 12 for each exercise. All right, we got a little finale, hitting our triceps. Ooh, get the horseshoe coming out. Very easy, only need a rope and your arms. So we're gonna start off with overhead. Now, you can do overhead tricep extensions a couple different ways. You could start it from here and lean over. You could start it from the bottom and pull up. You could be from the middle, same thing. So because we're gonna turn around for just regular push downs. I'm just gonna keep it at the top so I don't have to move it up and down. But if you prefer it from the bottom, I actually really like it that way. But to save me time so I can move through it fast, we're gonna keep it up here. So, 10 to 12, overhead, I'm gonna be leaning. Keep your back nice and flat. And then I'm focusing on kind of kicking those wrists out. So externally rotate and really kick on those triceps. 10 to 12. Then we're gonna turn around. You may or may not have to either lower the weight. I generally kind of stay right where I'm at. So I'm trying to go pretty heavy on the overhead because you should be stronger with the regular push downs. But because we're pre-exhausting, I'm gonna try to just keep the same weight and match my reps. So again, 10 to 12 here now again. This is something that you'll see people, even actually throughout the movement, I kind of do it a little bit differently. So at the beginning, I'm back here, really keeping those elbows close to my side. As I tire, you'll see me kind of just do one of these where my elbows are out in front of me. So here I start, and then as I tire to get a couple more reps, I bring my hands close together and it's a smaller movement but you'll be able to pump out a couple more so if you want to keep going mechanical drop set just by changing the position you'll be able to pump out a couple more and lastly then we're going to come down to just a close grip push-up if you prefer doing diamonds i actually just like doing a close grip push-up keep your elbows pretty much going straight back chest down to the ground and up these you're just going till failure. It might be 10 reps. It might be three reps. Just do as many as you can. Four sets all the way through. All right, guys, I don't know about you. I'm feeling big, feeling swole. That was like a workout, I liked it. You know, change things up a little bit. If you enjoy this workout, you want more, Link is in my bio. Come join me on the DLB Daily. Let's go. We'll make muscles together. It's fun.